In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this transition effect to display the changes between the before and after of any video and showcase the difference. Let's get started. With our video clip on the timeline, the first thing we need to do is select the blade edit mode to split the clip into two parts. In the first part, we'll have the original video without any modification, while in the second part, we need the video with the finished color grading. Next, we head to DaVinci Resolve's color module and activate the clips menu to visualize the videos we have on our timeline. Select the first video clip and remove the color grading we've done. This way, we'll have the first part of the video without any color adjustments. Return to DaVinci Resolve's editing module. Now we have the first ungraded clip and the second one with the finished color grading. To create the before and after transition, go to the effects panel and search for the edge wipe transition. Select the effect and apply it to the cut we made earlier. Now we'll have the before and after transition. But as you can see, the transition goes from bottom to top, so we need to modify it to our preference. The first thing we change is the transition's duration. We can increase or decrease its duration by clicking on the transition edges and dragging it left or right to increase or decrease the duration. To modify the transition settings, click on it and go to the Inspector menu. If you don't see this menu, simply click on Inspector to activate it. Perfect. Here are all the settings. We can start by modifying the transition angle. If we want the effect to go from left to right, we need to set an angle of 90 degrees. As you can see, we'll now have the left to right transition. We can also add a color border to the line to better appreciate the before and after effect. Click on Color to select the desired color. Finally, I recommend adding a speed ramp to the transition to enhance the animation. We can add a speed ramp in the Ease option. Right now, the vertical line moves from left to right at a constant speed. If we want to modify the speed and create a more dynamic animation, we can adjust the speed so that it starts slower and then accelerates, or vice versa. This way, we can achieve a much more professional animation. Expand the Ease menu and select the option you want. I'm going to select In and Out, so that the vertical line starts slowly, then increases speed, and finally decreases speed again. Let's see how it looks. And that's all for today. As always, I'll leave you with my complete course on DaVinci Resolve, completely free, where you can learn a lot of new things. See you in the next video.